Hi friends, this is the Nair Research and welcome to the third part of XRP Telegram bot tutorial. In the previous video we made integration with Telegram and it seems to work smoothly. So today we'll start implementation of deposit function. If our bot receives the message that contains word deposit, like deposit or make deposit or I want to make deposit, it will start deposit process. So let's type the following. Bot hears which means what will listen for some specific uh, input. And here we'll use regular expressions. If I remember correctly, I should type the following B deposit. And again, B and close it. This means that bot will parse all messages it receives and will search for deposit word. And here is our callback, which is context ctx. And now we need to implement the callback. Firstly, we should know who is our user. Telegram allows to identify users by their usernames. But unfortunately, username is not set by default, and every user should do the, this in his user profile. So, firstly, we need to make check whether username exists, and if not, we should ask user to edit his profile and add username. We can retrieve username from the context. Let's type the following. If ctx message from username, so if this field exists, we'll proceed with deposit, Otherwise, we'll send message ctx reply with markdown and here is the text of our message. Please create username in order to make deposit in settings username. Okay, I think we can save this and try to test our code without username. I have launched our bot and currently I am in Telegram. So let's type deposit and see what happens. Deposit. And yes, please create username in order to make deposit. Okay, so I'll do that. My username would be Denario Research. Denario Research. Okay, this username is available and I'll save it to my profile. Let's create a variable for this username. Let, let's call this variable username as well, and it equals to context message from username. And let's send some message to user which will tell how to make deposit. So CTX reply with markdown. Firstly, let's say hi. Username. And the following message. I will generate XRP address and complete deposit within 15 minutes. So we will give 15 minutes time slot to make deposit. I think that would be sufficient for any user. If deposit is not done within 15 minutes, it would be cancelled. So let's save and check how it works. Okay, let's type again deposit. Oh, it's deposit, please. And here it is. Hi, Dinero Research. I will generate your XRP address and complete deposit within 15 minutes. Great! Actually, we already have a XRP address. It is saved in our config file. So we can show it right now. ctx reply is marked down. And here it is, our XRP address. But this address is one for all users. So how do we differentiate them? Well, actually, XRP Ledger allows you to have some destination tag. 
this is some sort of sub account for every user in your wallet. So let's add message about destination tag. Destination tag. But how do we know what is destination tag and how we should generate it? So let's think about it. We can find information about destination tag on Ripple Developers portal. So destination tag is actually optional value, but it is mandatory in our case. And it is unsigned 32 bits integer that identifies a reason for payment or a non-Ripple account. So in order to generate destination tag, we need just generate some integer number, which is less than 32 bits. Also, it would be great if every existing user had a permanent destination tag saved with his username somewhere in database. So when he makes deposit for the second or third time, bot will just check a database and retrieve destination tag from it. So let's do this. In order to work with users' records in database, we need a schema. I have created folder models and file users.js where I'll create a schema for user profiles. In order to build schema, we need mongoose. So let's import it. const mongoose equals to require mongoose and let's create a user schema let's call it user and it equals to mongoose dot schema here we'll create a JSON object which defines all user profile properties. The first property is username. It's mandatory for all users and it is type of string and it is required. Required equals to true. The next one is destination tag, as we discussed already. So let's paste it here and call it destination tag. It is number and also required. The third one would be balance. So we can know how many XRPs each particular user has. It is also number and it is also required. And the final property is a timestamp. So it will tell us when user profile was created. It is also number. Great. But let's remain, rename this variable into user schema. Perfect. And last but not least, we need to export all this. Let's create another variable, let's call it user, and it equals to module exports, and it equals to mongoose model. Here we need to provide name of our model, it would be user and put our schema, user schema. Okay, we can save this and use in our app.js. But before we send any request to database, we need to open connection. We can do this with mongoose connect command. Here we need to provide URL to our database and it is saved in config.js. So config database URL and let's get a variable for our database DB equals to mongoose.connection 
OK. When connection is established, let's have a console log message. DB once open. And here we need to provide callback for our connection console log connection opened. Also, let's have similar message for errors. Let's copy and paste, but db on error. Here have error, and let's console log that error. Okay. Now we are able to get destination tag. Let's create function for it. Let's go to the bottom, somewhere here, and create function. Get destination tag. As the input parameter, it will have only username, and it will return callback. So let's put Call back also here. Here we will query user's profile from database. If this profile does not exist, we will generate some random destination tag. Otherwise, we will re return destination tag from user's profile. But in order to query user's profile, we need to import user's model. So let's create another constant, call it users, and it equals to require models dot users slash users. Okay, now we are ready to make a query. Users find one. Here we need to provide query parameters. So username equals to username and execute this command query. Execute. Here we'll have callback. It has error message and user profile. Okay, let's try to implement it. But we need to fix it. Okay. If we have any error, so if error, let's console log this error. Console log error. Else if User profile does not exist, which means user equals to null. We'll generate random destination tag. And finally, else if user exists, we'll return callback with user's destination tag. User dot destination tag. Great. In order to generate new destination tag, let's create variable tag and it equals to mass random random that will generate a random number in the range 0 to 1. So we need to multiply this random number by, let's say, 10,000. We'll have a random number in the range 0, 10,000. But let's also round this. So mass floor. And add 1 in order to avoid any zeros. So and return callback tag. Okay, great. So let's use this function. We will use it above this message. So get destination tag. 
here we'll provide username and callback as a callback is our destination tag okay let's copy this message and paste it inside of the callback and provide callback here tag plus closing star Great, so let's save the code and test how it works. I had to fix typo in Mongoose name, but it's ok. And after restart, I see that connection was opened. Great, let's switch to Telegram and test deposit function. Let's type deposit again. And here we see our randomly generated destination tag. Great. Well, friends, that's enough for today. It has been quite a long video. But next time we'll work with XRP Ledger to process that deposit. Thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want more videos, and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!